Oops. Yikes. The Yikes, don't yank the cable, guys. Okay, I'm gonna also share this with a few groups before we begin, so just um, give me a second. It shouldn't take that long, but I'm um, usually just have this um, first few seconds of um, me editing stuff. Okay, I'm not quite showing here. Oh, wait, no, I have to press this one. Now it shows. And I just have to share with a few more groups and then we can begin. So just give me a second. Oh, I actually can share with all three groups. So let's, let's just do that quickly right now. Yeah, it's it's Facebook being Facebook. So I couldn't exactly share with everything. But well, at least, uh, at least it doesn't block me from doing it manually like before. So that would have been annoying. Hey, Jericho Elagan, thank you for liking the... Okay, now, chat box, and I saw the message. I'm, I'm trying to see if it's delayed here. Yeah, it's... Okay, okay, I see your message. Good evening. Yeah, I see I see the chat box is working. I don't think the alert box is working, though. Yeah, that's weird. Let's test the widget. See? Nope. Um, th nope, the alert widget's working. It's just weird. Oh, well. S I'm probably gonna get off Streamlabs anytime soon, but you know what? We'll do that another time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. Today, we are going to be doing another draft of um, Premier Draft of Crimson Vow. We usually expect um, alternate formats um, sometime near the la latter part of the year, but um, that will be till then. I did not get to do Arena Open because it's, it's too expensive. So um, we'll just we'll use this um, premier draft as a what if. W how would I have done? Well, it's um wait and see. Also, everyone's kind of, and I would say that um we would have at least done well with a good open in mana form Hellkite. It at worst it's a four 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 four, and I'm also taking a look. Um, a bit concerning that there's quite a bit of good red around. We might there is a chance we get the blood petal celebrant back. I am also noticing there's a lot of white flyers, so we have to keep this in mind. Black is probably the one that wheels. Blue is also a possibility, so we'll we'll see. And we could go black red, though Grizzly Rich Ritual is we did see some we did see some, um, but this is a bit on the expensive side in terms of removal. I could always just take Syncopate because it's very good early. I can also go white with um, all... You finally managed 7 wins with a white-black deck. Oh, nice! But I went 0-3. Oh, oh, well. But you did get your 7. I, I still haven't gotten my 7, but you know what? I'm glad you did. So that said... Hold on. I'm going to do a very quick one here. If I want to be safe, I would just take a red card. Probably the Reckless Impulse. Hey, got Child of the Pack, so we're going red-green again. But, um, yeah, I, I've been thinking that I probably want to go white. One, one of these days, I would go white. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Anyway, the good news is um, this I'm still technically just red. I'm not... Ex well, I am getting closer to red-green the more wolves I'm seeing. I might just take the green just to snipe the wolf strike because runebound wolf is fine, but it's and yeah we are kind of short on removal. I and this one wheels a bit more, so we'll take the wolf strike. Okay, got another. There's an into the night which is not good. There's a snarling wolf, Kessig flame breeder. I probably will just take the other wolf strike. Let's just start cutting wolf strikes here. Yeah, you got the. You, you got the two good bombs, and it's good that they're both in the same color. So basically, um, both of them were able to... So you were able to just go... Yeah, you went um, black, white, majority black most likely. So that was very neat. We are starting to get cut on cards. I might... I might just take the Grizzly Ritual because it is kind of splashable. It is also very expensive. It's probably better than the Weary Prisoner in any case. We'll just take it as an option. Because right now we are we are creature light. I'm kind of hoping on some of the creatures wheeling, but um that might not quite happen. Majority black, yeah. 
Random form Hellkite legit. Yep. Very <laughs> We're just waiting for the day that um certain cards rotate out so Mana Form Hellkite gets its day in the sun, but Okay. Cartographer survey. No, we actually need creatures now. So we probably will take the Hungry Ridge Wolf this time. We should be on the lookout for some of the cheaper wolves, like the, the, the green one mana wolf. That's fine. Paxong Pup. I don't think people will be passing that anymore. Kind of hoping people start passing cards like a braid and whatnot. My concern was that um, pa pa the first and second picks, we were passing a lot of red cards. So we might get kind of cut there. So that is an issue we have to contend with. Well, we did get quite a lot of... Yeah. We got quite a lot of green. We even have a rare here, but... This is not worth it. We probably are better off just taking the belligerent guess. There's an argument for cartographer survey, but all our cards are not that expensive yet. Also, there is a chance to miss, which is why I'm so... I'm kind of down on it, I guess. Yeah, we're passing quite... We did get our mythic, so... I'm okay with passing rare. See? We got the rune wolf... Runebound Wolf back. Ancestral Anger is something I would consider also. And we got the Hungry Ridge Wolf. So we are going black we are going red main here at this point. So we got that solved. We you might the dragon cut if you picked another card. Yeah, it's and it really depends on the direction we, we we're facing. Um like there was a chance we could have go, gone green main with the wolves just with the wolf strikes. If we saw a the thing is, we were still seeing viable green cards. We were still seeing relatively viable red cards, all things considered. Boarded window's bad. I might just take the crushing canopy as an as a one off because um we are we are gonna have problems against opposing flyers. Blue has plenty of that, so we might just take the crushing canopy here. Yeah, it's usually a risk. Um, especially because it's red main. Okay, we'll take one Ancestral Anger. It'll be weird. It's weird, but it's not implausible to have multiple Ancestral Angers here. But um, we do need to have a better... We, we do need to have a better base. We are going to be focusing a lot on two tree drops. Anti-air, anti-enchantment. Yep, and... Into the sideboard you go. Let's see. Yeah, and because this is best of one, having at least one of these is quite fine. And the festivities. And, oh, nice. Okay, it's sad we're passing the Flame Blessed Bolt. But this is card draw. We're, we're, we're definitely taking the Investigator's Journal for sure. Foreboding Statues, an alternate pick. Pyre Spawn is too expensive. Probably the Dawnheart Disciple if ever. We are passing a lot of blue and black, although the black is not so great. The blue is fine. White is not so great. It's re pretty much red, which is the concern here. We're going to be passing a lot of good red. Okay, I have two choices here. I can take an Infestation Expert. It gives me a 3-4. I can also just take the Invitation only, but I probably don't want to. Hey, Tim Sopcak, thank you for liking the stream. Also, also, um, did I also mention that um, thank you to Jericho Ilagan? Although the, although the notification went kind of bust. I could, I could take an infestation expert. We we could use at least a a, a five drop, or at least. Hungry Ridge Wolf is an option. We are gonna be passing the invitation only, but you know what? Have a gift. And we get a whole lot of nothing. There is an arg if we were not so heavy into red green, there is an argument for starting to take the white cards between the invitation and the fierce retribution. Those would be the picks. Kindly ancestor is also solid common, so I'm surprised no one's taking it. We'll take the foreboding statue for lack of anything else. Lightning wolf, Sporeback wolf, toxic scorpion. Nah. Probably just a Sporeback wolf. We are. Oh wow, white is super open actually. Look at all these cards. Hmm. Now I have a choice here. Do I just focus on this and just keep feeding white to the next person? Or do I start taking some of these good white cards? I think it's too late for us to get into white right now. 
we did take we do have a foreboding but not so much yeah I, I already have three of these frenzy devils is not so great apprentice sharpshooter is what i would take but it's super super so sad actually let's do it couch we do have enough space i think i will just take the storm carved coast in the off chance that there is blue but uh, Okay, we got some removal now, so I have to choose between Vampire's Vengeance and Lacerate Flesh. Vampire's Vengeance really bad if our opponent happens to be vampires, but it is a way to get around. Probably take the Lacerate Flesh. We will tend to get bigger creatures, which means we do actually have to start taking the bigger creatures now. Got another belligerent. Oh, another belligerent guest or another Sporeback Wolf. I think I want the Sporeback Wolf in this case. Now's a good time to take a weary prisoner. But um, I'm not liking our force. We do get a sure strike, so we do have another combat trick. And take the wash away. Sideboard wash away. Not really a sideboard card because this is double blue. So that is a concern. We did get Toxic Scorpion back, which is good. Probably not going to run the Ancestral Anger. We do have a solid count of wolves and werewolves we but we do need uh, but we do need other things like um oh nice lantern of the lost actually not too bad we are passing talia i actually i already have a play set of um talia so it's not 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 a big loss we could just take spike ribsaw as a way to buff up our smaller wolves We are 13 and 7, so I can afford to take this, actually. I can also likewise dip into our blue for Screeching Swarm, so it gives us... But we have the Mana Form Hellkite, which I like better. Also, we need to double-check. It's non-creature spell, so we should be on the lookout for non-creature spells, like, say, a Braid. That's a good one. And... Ugh, shame we're passing the Bleed Dry. Reclusive Taxidermist is always good. Lamb Holt Rancotur... We have quite a bit, but I don't want to r run all of these if I can help. Ancestral, nice in multiples. It's nice in multiples. The only problem is um, we have a multiple of one right now. If we get past a few more, I would start going into that. We'll take the taxidermist at least. Okay, we're getting a few more big drops, so we're taking the hook hand mariner. Which means we can cut the weary prisoner or the lightning wolf. Probably the prisoner for now. It is bigger. Oh wow. Our removal is going to be very expensive, so this is a concern. But I can't pass up a second lacerate flesh. I'm going to leave in the sideboard for now just to see what we have. Hey, we got the flame blast bolt. There's also a snarling wolf, but um, one is better than the other. We're probably going to start cutting green here. Which is awkward because we now have spore crawler, rural recruit. I guess I can just go wolf again. There's also Honeymoon Hearse, which is... It's not so great. I think I would rather have the extra wolf. I guess we cut the Scorpion. We might cut the Canopy for now. We'll take the Vampire's Vengeance as an option. We're solid. We now have a playset of Ridge Wolves, which I don't really want. Corresponds. No, I th I'd rather keep the Infestation Expert at the top. Yeah, fine, we'll take the Ritual. But I don't really want that on top. Yeah, sorry if the picks are going a lot faster. Um, Actually, I should be slowing down. That's That was a bit. The good news is that a lot of our... Okay, Taxidermist, Boreback, Wolf. Foreboding statue could get cut, I'd say, but let's see. Let's also do a sanity check on our removal. One, two, sort of. Three, four, but we need creatures. Five. We probably want to run the other Lacerate Flesh or the Vampire's Vengeance. Which might mean cutting... No, you kind of want the Reckless Impulse also. Well, oh, these are sad picks. 
I'll take the other Toxic Scorpion on the off chance, but not likely I'm gonna run it. Hey, we got the Rancatour back. So I will consider that. I could cut the Belligerent Guess, but it is a tree drop, which we kind of need. Like, I could cut it for another Hungry Ridge Wolf. It's not like we need the Belligerent. It's good with Sure Strike, that's for sure. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of we have a lot of decision making to um, to make. Yeah, sad bramble armor. Epicure, mm. Epicure, just for the free blood token. Pro I'm not exa not exactly a fan of that. I did say I want to fit in the other lacerate flesh. Let's do a sanity check on our count. 15 and 9. So, okay, let's say I were to fit this one. That puts us at 15 and 10. That means I have to cut two non-creature spells. Which might be a problem, so I'm better off just cutting the Lacerate. Ideally, I want to cut another green card. Probably a Sporeback Wolf. So we can go ten. Se we can go ten seven. It's a bit sketch, but we do have a foreboding statue that kind of counts as um additional source. Although it's a bit on the later side. Well, we're doing what we, we we're doing what we do best. So we're kind and though we are kind of leaning on child of the pack, mana form hell kite, flipping the foreboding statue. We are kind of relying on some of these, but we can also try to go for the early aggro plan as well. So let's see if we can get away with that. Also, although the rank tour does get better, hmm, I can actually cut the lightning wolf, but I don't want to go thirteen ten. Not worth this. It's also an argument for say weary prisoner. In fact, I might do that. No, let's do Lightning Wolf for now. But I'm probably, I'm probably gonna, um, I'm probably gonna adjust that later. Yeah, I didn't, I did not take Ep Epicure because. Generally, if I'm, yeah, by itself, it's probably gonna be the one card I would end up cutting the most if I ever did pick it. Not. If we were more into blood tokens, we'd have an argument for that. As it is, we kind of don't. So that's why we went with this line. Anyway, we'll see how things go. Again, our big water loo here. Lightning Wolf's probably better than the 2-6. Hey! Hey, that by variance! I, 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 didn't, I didn't see you here. Hey, not, how, how are you doing? Oh yeah, also congrats. Congrats, I know you made it today too on the... I, I know you made it today too. And yeah, um the thing with the two six Well the problem problem with two six I would say is that well um let's just say No there let's just say that there's a big problem with the two six that you can't control when you don't want it to attack, there's a good chance it's probably gonna attack. When you need to attack with it, there's a good chance it's locked up. Sadness all around. Anyway, we're definitely keeping this. We have our double red. Right off the bat against some... Um... So we definitely will do Sporeback Wolf over... Well, if this if it were the Hungry Wolf, I would... Like this one, I would probably... As it is, we're doing Sporeback Wolf. Take the pass. If our opponent doesn't snipe it, I will. Actually, I can also just wait for the mana form Hellkite. The problem, let's see, what's, because I know the um, spell that deals four damage, L Lacerate Flesh, is still five mana away. Though our opponent does get the jump on us, for waiting for my M MTG OQ to fire. Ooh, that's that's neat. So our opponent is gonna get the jump on us in terms of mana here. So what we can do. 
Let's see. We can swing if our opponent double blocks. Our opponent can double block, but they're more likely to just... Um, yeah, so we're, so we're going to just pass here. There is an argument for going for... But um, unfortunately, it's not knight, so we don't get the bonus. We don't get to snipe the Weaver of Blossoms. Problem now is... Curse of Hospitality. What does this do? So his creatures have trample. Okay, noted. If our opponent attacks us, I am going to just block everything. So opponent gets to... Wait, is it um of their life? That player ex excels the top part of their library. Was that our library or their library? So my concern is that our opponent could flip this easily. Like, if I want to play it safe, I would um I would wolf strike the weaver right now and just um ch chump block this one. Our opponent's down to two cards. The last thing I want to do is just play Mana Form Hellkite only for it to die to Lacerate Flesh. Yeah, let's. Let's see, our opponent probably does. Yeah, they don't block, so we're going to just snipe this. And we can, and we can also discard this to for say something else. Yeah, we ended up using a non-creature spell, but... Okay, let's double check whose library it's coming out. I, oh, I think it's coming out of our library. So... Yeah, nice investigator's journal. They can have it. They might even cast it right... Oh no, they're just gonna go for spell. Is there a time limit? Until end of turn, so they're not casting it now if... Wait, they might have a land and they could still cast it. And how many cards do they get? Okay, we got sure strike, so that's something. See if our opponent goes for the block. We'll end up giving them a card because we're definitely gonna cast Sure Strike. Yeah, it feels bad using. So got ourselves another blood token. Probably play the other hungry ridge wolf. I am still willing to chuck the runebound wolf at this point. Let's see. Not so sure how I'm playing here. Yeah, I'm really concerned our opponent has removal. They're already f at 6 mana at this point. But you know what? I'm gonna eventually have to cast it. So our opponent's gonna start drawing cards. Oh, they're lightning wolf. Not an infestation expert. I'm actually okay with just cast. Okay, first. Because if we swing with this one, it just. I could play rune bound, make it block this one. Now let's play infestation. Opponent's actually just give, giving that one up. Now take note, our opponent does have first strike and trample with Curse of Hospitality, so hmm. the good news is we can our opponent is forced to activate it immediately. So no surprises there. We 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 will have to, we will be hoping on that one. Oh yeah, by MTGOQ I'm assuming limited, but um it could also but Q could mean a lot mean a lot of things in MTGO. So just just asking. Oh wait, no, cause um, if it's if you're waiting for a certain period of time, it's like it's an event queue. 
Oh. So no point in blocking. We're just going to take. Because this is going to have... Tr Wait. Actually, now there is a point. Because our opponent is not giving this first strike. Let's see if our opponent has a sure strike. Nope. So they get another card from us, but... No, oh, enjoy the forest. Opponent is gonna be drawing a lot of cards here. They, In fact, they could sack this now to draw yet another card. So I, removal is gonna be an issue. This is when it enters the battlefield or attacks. So we're going to attack. It gets blocked by this. We'll start with this one, I guess. So I'm gonna cast this one because I'm. I, if our opponent does have that, happens to have that removal, they've been holding onto it for a long time. Also need to remember that we need to if we want to give trample we need to save some forests. If we have another land we can actually cast equip then we can have a seven seven flyer. Yep, I knew they will have the last raid flesh eventually. So there's really no way around that. Am I willing to block infestation expert with Horrible's Hungry Ridge Wolf? Okay there. You yeah, got the flame blessed bolt, so that's something. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that once and for all. Start making more insects to kind of block the way. We'll play the rune bound wolf for now because that's gonna be our long term plan. So if our opponent had, well, we still have Child of the Pack as our other bomb, but otherwise, um, we kind we lost both our bombs already at this point. Opponent goes Flourishing Hunter. So if we can draw one more land, we will be able to go Spike Ripsaw. Opponent is playing it safe though. Okay, I guess. Hold on, this is four mana to. Okay, we hit our land, so that's the good news. So there's no reason for me to cast this right away. Un so, but we already cast a spell, so we might as well just cast it right away. Because I was thinking I could maybe hold for this, but... Yeah, we're about to take a big chunk of damage here. At least with the Spike Ripsaw, it gives us an excuse to... Equip and not cast anything, so we are taking th that damage. Hopefully, our opponent is not chock full of pump spells. Like, this would be so annoying. Well, there, there goes our Lightning Wolf. Curse of Hospitality, really good if you're on the aggro. So, I would say. Yeah, it's, they're, they're knocking it out. It has fired. I'm drafting now. Okay, best of luck to you. Yeah, best of luck to you. I hope you're doing... An opponent has their own last raid flesh. So... Unfortunately, this is sorcery speed, so we're not going to get... We can race, but it's super sketchy. If our opponent has the block and the sure strike, I'm gonna freak. But you know, but to be fair, our opponent had played us quite a bit there, so 
Yeah, we, we were at a disadvantage already. We also also not having anything di um as big as this one was a bit of a concern as well. Looks like our opponent is going to take... They're going to start holding blockers next time. So... We... We are gonna we are gonna be forced to chump block everything under Ridge Wolf, so it has trample anyway, so but we it's either we win in the next turn or we lose outright, so can't really not not much in the way of options here. Opponent is also going to draw... Is this one or more? Whenever creature... So opponent's going to get two of our cards. Which is web... Yeah, that's a good game. Let's see if I can crack anything to save ourselves. We would have needed that Flame Blessed Bolt from a while ago. There's our bomb! Yeah, not, not happening. Oh, oh they, they had it all. Ay, 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 ay. Well, no. well that well that went well, so so much for an early start. But maybe it's a good maybe it's a way of telling us it's a good thing you did not do arena open this time. You would have gone you would have gone dead broke. Well, that's one thing to consider. You're not gonna have um, you're not gonna always have the best start, um best draft. Sometimes you will get um. You will get questionable ones as well. Hmm. Yeah. Now that's the odd thing. I have no idea if there's anything I would want to add in this situation to adjust this. Like maybe maybe the second spore back wolf over But not so much because it only benefits us on the attack. I guess I'm kind of fine with this one. Let's just go with this again. Yeah, it was already it was just unfortunate. I already I pretty much knew our po It's also possible that um because I was I was holding it back too long. Our opponent eventually drew into it. So maybe there's an argument for playing it earlier rather than later. Yeah, I think I probably would should have done that. I should have played it a lot earlier instead of playing it much later. So I guess that's on me. Also consider I'm also considering putting in the crushing canopy. No, I What would I cut for that? Um, okay, we have two drop. We kind of need one mana. We have both our colors, so I'm willing to keep this. Al although it's only just for remove. So this is some. This is basically a tilt keep. So I pro I really would not recommend this one. Opponent mulligan twice. Okay. We're still not out of the woods yet. Though our opponent is taking their time, so it looks looks like they've settled on something that um is relatively playable. But they mulled three times. Just to get the earth. Okay, we did hit our mat we did hit our third land, so let's see what our opponent's play is. It can't just be snarling wolf pump. Well, they might not have anything else, so it's, that's literally what they're going to do. Storm Wolf. So, Moonbound Wolf. We have Foreboding stat Statue, so we can kind of miss on the Grand Couture a bit. Score back Wolf. Deciding if yeah, if I don't have a reason to kill it quite yet, let's not kill it quite yet. Also, because we might then be able to benefit from Rancotur into Wolf Strike, especially since it looks like our opponent is quite stuck. So we're actually just abu um we're actually just taking advantage of our opponent here. So we will take that hit. A 
least I know there's no one mana pump here, so that it, this is a safe swing. Opponent did hit her Donhart also. Oh, Hmm, interesting. Okay, and we can actually block and still hold up Sure Strike. So we can actually still snipe the Spore back wolf. Our opponent could have a combat trick, so that would be... An, we, we can afford to still take the damage though, so that's... The Dragon is a must answer enemy. There's a, oh, there is a one mana pump spell? Wait. Um, oh yeah, it's not the Witch's Web a while ago. That was three mana. But there is a one mana that's one tree and reach, right? Thank you for reminding me. That's actually a good room. Yeah, we'll take. There's no reason to block that one. It's just too damage. Toxic Scorpion. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, wait. Flip this right away. Yeah, I wasn't actually able to hold up by having a lot of um, smaller creatures, but hold on, let's double check. Yeah, I really should. Okay, looks. Um, bit unfortunate for our opponent. They really, um, they got stuck on two on two mana. It's also possible our opponent. Well, it's possible our opponent might be a tree color deck, but our opponent did not show any indication of that. Yeah, I would have started cracking that blood token ASAP because that's part of the value from it. You, if you, if you need a certain card, it doesn't matter what you have in hand. I would start chucking cards just to get to it. Like our opponent got. Missed land drops for a long time. Isn't the one mana? Pu oh yeah, you're right. Might by masses. That, correct. No, no, no. Um, something massive might. Yeah, that's correct. Oh wow. I should be playing more green. I I haven't. I'm I'm I didn't play that much green in Midnight Hunt. I I only played a little bit of green, but it seems to be awfully narrow that I forgot. I I forgot that one. Yeah, that's the one with the slug in the art. And another two lander, but this time we have no two drop. So I am really unlikely to keep this. If this was played by with fire, maybe, but no, we'll take the mulligan here. Yeah, this is better. So we actually want to keep the flame bless bolt. Yeah, we got the sure strike again, but um can be slightly awkward. We are relying on the statue to get our moon. Yeah, now it's a good time th than any. I can't exactly wait for anything else. Oh. Opponent pro Oh, mi they missed that one. They might have removal for this. I will be a bit salty if they do, but sometimes that's how it is. I think they do have the removal for this. I'm sure Sek not attacking with it. Royal Recruit. Yeah, the reason I did this is because it gives us the correct number of, it gi it gives us the correct number of cards to block with. Our now I do have to keep in mind, yeah, that, that that pump effect might still exist, so I'm probably gonna throw the insect in front of the boar. 
circle of confinement. So they did have removal. Oh, they're actually gonna take the pump. So it's a good thing I cast this first. Not, so I'm now kind of free to cast this one. If they have the pump effect, I, I want to get it out of the way. Yeah, there you go. But, um, that, that one's fine. It's basically called um, get it out of the way now. Now we go mana form hell height. Let's see if our opponent has ooh night nice. Our opponent is one man away from fated retribution, so we probably want to get our value with sure strike a braid ASAP if when presented. Okay. There's four back wolf. Unfortunately, this is a bit of an anti timing. Also, don't want to kill. Let's get this out of the way. Because of this because this other one's gonna be an anti-timing. Actually I'm gonna swing with everything. Okay. Not quite Mondo value, but I will take it. And it more importantly, it clears the board quite a bit. Yeah, we didn't get value from that dumb sure strike, but if I cast it sorcery speed, they're not gonna block with it. I'm, I I was better off using its removal. Yeah, fated Richard by invitation only. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. Maybe it's a good argument for not casting anything. Just let this flip. Because our opponent has to answer the form, the, the mana form hell kite anyway. Oh, opponent's gonna go. F Actually, Wolf Fangs is act is pretty good as removal for both the hell kite or the werewolf here. So our opponent now has to decide what to use it on. Saw blades. Okay, good game. Oh, they can. Okay, Whew. we managed to dodge that one. So, wow. Gone are the days when I can remember every card. Well, let's. Well, let's be fair. Do you know how many sets they print these days? There is no way I'm remembering every card. I do have to remember the ones that matter. So, like that. So like that massive might actually matters quite a bit. It's not top five commons, but it's still pretty, but still pretty good up there. But yeah, that was quite that was that was quite a good one. Um, pretty much, if we can't get the removal before or after combat, we should try to get the 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 pump effects are really important as well. Yeah, Streamlabs is awfully weird. Like, you guys are seeing the chat just one line at a time, and that's fine. It On on, on the stream chat um, applet on the side, it's actually show, showing it twice. So it's a bit weird. I am willing to keep this one because we have one and we, we have things to play in one and two. But this is admittedly risky. Well, okay, not so much. We... We drew into it already. Okay, I'm gonna play the Ridge Wolf because there is no reason for me to run out the Taxidermist. Like, um, I my, I'm I'm pumping ramping to five right now, not four. Opponent stuck. Okay. Opponent could also be holding for um Vampire's Vengeance. That's another concern. I can't resist the. Um, I can't resist getting a turn four infestation expert. So if our opponent 
was sandbagging that one more land. Okay, do they have the Vampire's Venge Vampire's Vengeance? Thinking. That it was a little scary. The point could have. Yeah, as soon as you said the by invitation only, I start. I decide that that was when I started holding back cards. Okay, blood hypnotist. That's fine. So knowing that, I'm gonna drop the infestation expert now since and this can't block anyway. So yeah, our opponents on red white aggro though they seem to be missing the boat. A vamp daybreak combatants. Our opponent could pump something. I am I am not gonna trade though. Actually ooh, this does not have trample, so I don't know what gives. I am going to give up this one. Yeah, let's go for all in damage now because it look we need to take advantage of our opponent getting stuck right now. Our opponent is definitely going to swing with this one. I might actually hold back. I might actually take the damage this time. And there's another person who could have the board wipe. Yeah, I, I was I was already concerned with that one. Oh, looks like our opponent got stuck here. So we, I will admit, um, I was already, I would not have been surprised if our opponent had the board wipe in question. I was I was already gonna kind of call it. But the thing is, um, well, I did not know I was gonna be drawing land after land in that sense. I could have held back on the taxidermist there. But um, that one's a case of if they had it, they kind of had it. If if not, I get a turn for infest. I get a turn for infestation expert that which is pretty decent. So let's see if we can get our one more win for break e for pseudo break even. But let's let's keep going. But for for most people, the most important part is getting to. At least getting to three wins in Premier because, yeah, two wins, two hundred fifty gold versus uh, two hundred fifty gems versus. Okay, this is totally unkeepable. Like we got Sporeback Wolf and nothing else. We have the Maniform Hellkite, but okay. Here's the thing: fifteen out of the remaining. It's not a lot in terms of land draw. We're gonna mulligan this. Okay, this is much better. We even still have the Hellkite, so. I am gonna keep this. We're gonna bin the sure strike. We are gonna be super slow here, so that is a risk we're taking. I will admit also, I am starting to sound like someone in Pawn Stars. So the flip side here is, if our opponent removes this one, which I, we still have the foreboding statue, let's hope our opponent does not have removal for this one. And we drew the man, and we drew the land end. Anyway, so we kind of lucked out there. So we probably go. Okay, because our opponent is a ways away from bleed dry, we're going mana form help first. Because we get to reckless impulse and maybe hit the land for hook hook hand mariner. Rending oh they did have a rending thing. Ugh. Oh well, it is what it is. We do have an investigator's journal. Let's not reckless impulse quite yet. Because at the least we can do is some start flipping towards this. So our opponent needs one more blood token to kill Hookhand ha Mariner. They might crack it right away just to flip this one. But we do have the blocker for this. We also hit the land. Hmm. Oh, 
not swinging. Now we can start drawing cards, though we're pretty much drawing into. Ah, Stench Uprising. AKA another. Re so our opponent is. Oh wow, we're flooded! Unbelievable. I'm not gonna crack this though, so. We're actually gonna offer the trade here because we need to start paring down our opponent's board. I also want to flip the Hokan Mariner. That's fine. It really pairs down their board. Oh no. Is he gonna jump? Oh, he's just taking he's just trading it off. Okay. It still tears down the board a bit, so I'm I'm fine with that. But yeah, we need to start drawing cards ASAP because we're about we're about to get really flooded. This is actually When it does have the bleed dry. So let's see if we We're now kind of racing, and these tokens can block the treasure quite well, so that's a problem. So we did hit the Lightning Wolf. Um, let's add one. Definitely gonna play the land. Definitely gonna keep drawing cards. Definitely gonna keep drawing lands. We're just gonna keep applying the pressure, so but eventually we're going to be able to draw deeper into our threats. Though our opponent is about to draw into bears. I'm actually gonna sacrifice the pressure here because Lightning Wolf can Spike Ripsaw. Hmm. It's also too. Because this one on the other side is at least a 4 4. Opponent's taking it now. Okay, that's interesting. They might be. They might be gunning for the multiple permanents because it's like 7 damage, it's just a little ways away. So, 8, 6, down to 2. A Flame Bless Bolt kills us, but. I, I can do this as a safety block, but. Yeah, let's do this as a safety block. I don't like it though. I'm pretty sure they have the. Sh oh, Undying Malice? Oh, it's even worse. I probably should have done it here. So we save on damage, but we lose it. We lose a lot of our stuff. Not great. And yeah, so kind of got domed by that one. Hold on, let's let's crack this one for the last time. Yeah, not so great for us this time. Well, it's all removal. We're gonna die to their creatures either way, so. game there. Ay ay ay, not so great this time. This not, not so much a board wipe this time though. So Okay, now there's an art now question, if I were to put in crushing canopy, what would I take out? That's that's usually the number one question. It's not what you want to put in, but what would you take out for it? I would definitely take out the green card. Not any of these top ones, so. I could also I could also do the sketchy 9-7 because I don't have that 
because I only have a few top end cards. But please don't try this at home. You only do this when you're really desperate, like right I am right now. So actually that's a good that's a good one. I get Yeah, the saw's not not cutting it. Dude. Mm, yeah, the saw's not cutting not cutting it in that case. That's probably a good that's probably a good point. Like I I like the idea of I'm being able to put something yeah, sad saw. Yeah, not... I think it, it... Yeah, we should get a clue from the art. That was clearly made for green-white humans. They they would have... Now, technically, we would have had a, been able to use it as well, but we don't exactly have the... Um, we can reckless impulse for one of our green sources, and we do have a hungry ritual for to start out so we will keep this this could be our last game but I'm hoping it's not the case when it goes wow ascension factory okay we we don't have to worry about the green source that much anymore we do have to worry about this one getting out of hand thankfully our opponent did not have the but they do have a response Okay, it's not flame bless bolt. Yeah, because it would. If they have a combat trick. I want to force it out of them. Let's just get it out of the way. Yeah, sure, strike. That's fine. The thing is, um, you. Yeah, you want to get those tricks out of the way as much as possible. So. We will reckless impulse now. Now we can do Runebound Wolf, or I could just play Child of the Pack right away. Skip the Runebound Wolf part. If we draw another two drop, I am cons I will consider the. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, I. W okay, we did get the Hungry Ridge Wolf, so we now have a bit of an option here. That said, we are gonna take the two from the Celebrant. We're gonna just mass block here. Again, if our opponent has combat tricks, we're getting... Okay, opponent not displaying the combat tricks, so we will just take... They have also missed, so I could... Oh, shit. Now, I could snipe this, but um, probably better off on you know, just add, adding more to the board. We have to take advantage of the fact our opponent kind kind of has some um, delayed development. So next turn, it's going to sharpshooter. That's fine. Yeah, opponent stalled out. Hmm. I kind of want to swing with the infestation expert, but that's super unnecessary. Let's just play this now. Let's a let's a braid the oak shade stalker because that's probably the best target there. I can swing with infestation expert. Our opponent gets to block it, which I don't like, so we'll just pass. Also, we now have the option to start doming our opponent for one, two, three, for four a turn, actually. One, yeah, we're going to take advantage of the fact our opponent's really stuck here. Five a turn. And this is not sorcery speed, but okay, this is a seven, so... Opponent's eventually gonna draw land, and th these pack leaders are gonna become a problem. But we're gonna have the eight mana to both. 
create the token, snipe, and probably take some damage and just and just let it, and just let it and just dome our opponent that way. But first, we have to make the token here because once it flips, we don't get that option. Lampo drank a tour, but I think it's too late for our opponent now. Okay, but we do have to be careful. This is like these are. These are those are still quite deadly. Our opponent's probably gonna. Our opponent has to swing with everything. Okay, so we need to do some math here. So this does not have trample, so we can block this. We can block this. We can. We're just taking eight. And there we go, we managed to survive this. <laughs> Probably better to build up your board more. Yeah, b basically just some keep one hour sessions isn't much content. I I agree. I really want to push this as much as possible. At least we made at least we at least we made up our board there. Territorial dispute. That's one way to put it. Bit sensitive. It's a bit sensitive for us nowadays here in the Philippines. Um, for those who are Filipino with the latest news, you kind of know why. But we'll leave it at that. So we are at four wins already. So we are technically break even, plus minus a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. The that wolf carried the day for us. Oddly enough, okay, the hell kite carried the day for us in one game. Though our opponent was really stuck. Okay, we're definitely keeping this. Ridge Wolf, Ridge Wolf is fine. Only going first, not so fine, but we'll take it. Opponent into Ragged Recluse. Oh, I want into Ra Okay, we drew most we drew our both of our bombs now. Investigator's journal kinda draws us into more. Not exactly a bomb, but it's still pretty good. Gift of Fangs. Okay. Not, not exactly gonna cry over that card. So the question is, do I go Child of the Pack or Maniform Hellkite? Opponents and Bleed Dry Man. Oh wow. I think this is an argument for Child of the Pack because of Now watch them have the Bleed Dry. Watch them have the perfect two Well, it's technically two four four. Oddly enough, if our opponent swings Heron of Hope, so kind of dodge that one. I don't like playing this one because it's probably gonna get killed, but I I don't exactly have much of anything else to do. Okay, six mana, Fated Retribution. Restless Bloodseeker. Okay, so it's just it's a life gain combo. Oh, did they have the bleed dry? They want to gain life to make the blood tokens, but they can't. We'll do reckless impulse first. We might hit the land. We did hit the land. We'll decide if I want to... Actually, we'll play the Investigator's Journal first. That should give us a lot of card draw over time. I could actually just choose to hold these guys back. Like, there's... N you know what? Let's just go for it. One is gonna just take it. And let's double check re let's double check the reckless impulse until the end step of your next and uh, end of your next turn. You know what? Let's just undo it now. 
I should have I should have done it if I was gonna go for it, but you know what? So when a cemetery protector, XL card from a graveyard. So they're gonna start making smaller tokens. Hmm. So a bit of a race here. If I draw one more mana, I would definitely crack Investigator's Journal and play Infestation Expert. If I don't, I might still crack Inve Investigator's Journal and just flip to Knight just to get the, just to get a big body on the ground. We have to be careful of Flare of Fate. So, oh wow, that's actually scary. Okay, opponent is playing it safe though. They're gonna gain three life out of this, so it's a bit annoying. Let's see if we can actually hit that crushing canopy. Can we hit the taxidermist instead, so Oh, it also flipped this one. So let's see. I don't want to flip it quite yet. I do want to play infested station expert. Because it gives us a lot of bodies on the ground. And we are dealing more damage than they're gaining life. But um, it's not exactly a great resource for us either. When it goes concealing curtains. They could just flip it. Oh no, they didn't flip it right away. So they do have the flyers. We're probably going to start swinging in the ground with Infested Werewolf, though. Only goes for the flip. Opponent's gonna go for the chump for e Oh, they're not going for the chump forever plan. <clears throat> Basically, we need to present a threat on the ground, not just up in the air. Opponent is gonna start discarding their stuff. Hopefully, they don't hit anything too good. Sigarda's imprisonment. Well, they can't exile it quite yet, so that's a bonus. Let's swing with boat. Gain some life. So we need to. Okay, we did draw a wolf strike, so we can use it to snipe something. Lightning wolf. So, wolf, it's nighttime, so I can use it to snipe something big. Cemetery protector. Hmm, I probably should have targeted something else. That was a mistake. Yeah, I should not have used the Maniform Hellkite. I should have targeted... Even this one would have been fine. Did the opponent not block? Did they just... Oh no, they're blocking now. Sorry. Okay, let's get the obvious blocks out of the way. Oh, they need to block some bigger stuff too. Oh, they're not the note. Did they just give up? Did they just give up? That was not the right blocks. I would have 
I would have started. I would have started giving up creatures just to block the bigger ones. The destroy enchant. You could have saved the removal on the opponent's turn. Yeah, I, I made that was a very clear mistake. I, I already, <laughs> I already regretted. I already regretted it. Um, right after. We 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 dodged the bullet there, but I'm, I'm not perfect. I'm still making mistakes too. So. Yeah, maybe an maybe an argument for me not doing arena open for draft. I am still willing to do the draft challenge when it comes around again. I think it's coming around end of the year. So I'm still looking forward to that one. Wow, we We kind of dodged that one by our with our opponent some um, nice blocks. So we definitely It's a, it's removal sp special, so that's a bit questionable. Now we're gonna hold the flame blessed bolt. I've pretty if I can avoid ca using flame blessed bolt on Epicure, I will. Save that extra damage, but you know what? So at least we oh we have the runebound wolf as an option as well, so we'll do that. Maybe our opponent has their own removal. We'll see. Now having blood tokens on board means it's very hard to predict if our opponent is holding onto some burn spell or if it's just because of the um, activated ability. If our opponents can sit reckless impulse. Oh, red blue. They did hit their abrade, so maybe don't cast the foreboding statue quite yet. I'm tempted to cast the reckless impulse. Lantern bearer. Play this one just to have it eat the uh, braid. Because if our opponent is spending the mana on a braid, they're not spending it to build up their board. So I'm kind of fine with that. And they're in use it or lose it mode right now. There's the Epicure. Yeah. Ep Epicure really good for a specific set of list of decks. It's apparently helping our oh wow, they must be re are they really that mana flooded? They're definitely gonna play a land after this because if this is their only land that they discarded, it's so weird. I'm pretty sure our opponent goes a braid on the belligerent guest. Yep. Which means um we are clear to which means we are clear to cast um foreboding statue or taxidermis. I can also go reckless impulse to hopefully draw into another land. We did. Now I also have to be careful if our opponent has bit ha, um, has big top end bombs. That's another concern. We're not exactly in a position to oppose it. We are definitely playing this guy ne next turn, no matter um, this gal. Okay, let's see. What does our opponent play for turn four? Opponent's actually t taking a while to think on what they're doing here. Okay, this is really strange. Oh dear. Our opponent's not doing anything. What's wrong? Okay, they're back. They're taking a look at our stuff. They probably have a lot of burn if that's what they're doing. Plays a land. 
Oh, they probably they, they might have been. Okay, let's see what their five drop is. Nothing. Okay, let's um, let's let's feed, let's um use up because we're gonna lose this anyway, so we might as well use it, force them to respond to it. No reason to hold back if um that's the case. Guys, light snare. Okay, that's fine. So we got that out of the hand, and the vampire's vengeance to follow suit. It wipes their board too, but okay, whatever kills your boat. But but I do like the sequence and the way they did it. But now let's see what their big top end is. I might just do hook hand mariner just to have a big threat that they epic here. Will we be worried about flying epicures? Okay. Opponent might have another counter spell, but in that case, I would rather they counter this over the Child of the Pack. They're also down to two. They could also be on counter city, which would be really annoying, but can't really do much about that. Yeah, finally got hit by a... Yeah. That... Okay, opponent has syncopate, so... The thing is, we can't just keep sitting back on it forever. If I learned anything from that one game with the, from that first game, it's pretty much that. Classic Flame Breather. Could cast this one. Okay. One. So we're probably gonna... Oh, we did hit the land. That's kind of what I was hoping for, so we can go for a Bolding Statue into a three. So next turn I need to decide if our opponent plays something big enough we can last rate well not too big please. Again? Oh my gosh. Everyone and their uprisings. We're gonna have to catch up with um Child of the Pack at least. Lightning Wolf is fine too. Last Rate Flesh. We can do Last Rate Flesh on the Flame Breeder just to... Yeah, but we need to start having a way to um, fill up the board now. Problem is, our opponent's at 10 permanents. We need to keep our life total high enough that our opponent can't just seven us to the to win. So pr next priority is to snipe the flame breeder. Multiple small units. Wow. Yep. Discarding the binding guys. So that's fine. Well, actually, nine. That put puts it back to ten. We can we go down to nine. So I am forced to lacerate flesh instead of make a creature. I could make creature flip, but I need to at least prevent this one from killing us. So yep, that's lacerate flesh going that way. Opponent is trying to hit their big count. Eleven. If they can play one more permanent, that's seven. If they snipe the foreboding statue, I am Semi fine with it. It's a bit annoying though. Because it takes us down to nine. We need to go down to eight. Yeah, this is lots of math. Bloody betrayal. Nine. Oh, we go down to seven. So at the beginning of your end step, so this does not return. Oh, wow. Ha! They got us good. Yeah, couldn't do anything about that one. That, wow, we just got... Oh, wait. It returned to us in time. Oh, it missed the window. Okay, but we're about to die next turn, so...
Yeah, unfortunately, I can't. I just have to go for this. Then, if you control exactly 13, yeah, this unfortunately is a good game at this point. They're gonna definitely control one next turn. That was weird, it didn't fire. Or did they choose not to sacrifice it? No, I'm pretty sure it didn't fire because we were dead. This is any target. Yeah, our opponent's looking at it like crazy. They were expecting expecting it to fire off two. Now it should fire. Yeah, now it fires. There we go. Unfortunately, we got domed right, right exactly in the noggin. Yeah, we got... <laughs> we got domed by an uprising. Unbelievable. Well, Stensha Uprising cost us two of the, two of those two of our games, but you know what? I'm kind of fine with that. At least we know that um, we we lost those games to bust to to big bombs. We did lose the first game to our own fault, so something to learn from there. But there you go. We did we didn't make it all the way, but I'm not unhappy with this draft. This one's this one is pretty fine. So there we go. That's going to be it for this episode of the... Yeah, so it, so for those tuning in, I just lost to Stentia Uprising. Actually, two out of my three losses were to Stentia Uprising. So, but then but we did make 1600 gems, so we are we did bring we did buy back our entry fee, so not not too shabby. That's going to be it for this episode of the Magic Arena run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, turn on notifications and whatnot. I am kind of at the point where I'm hoping there is an another draft format. I think we've drafted this like for over a month already, but it's still, it's still kind of fine. Consolation Mythic, Consolation Mythic wild cards are quite good too. But yeah, so a lot of things we could learn from that from that game. Kind of, I kind of overvalued the saw. Made a few gameplay mistakes. Finally got concealing curtains. But sometimes that's how it is. Um, but overall, I can't be too unhappy with that game. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there one day. Yeah, one one of these days. One of these days. Again, thank you so much to Jericho Ilaga and Tim, um, Tim Sopkak. Um, thank you to um, Death by Variance, Mark Ram. Thank you for tuning in as well. And yeah, hope to see you guys again next time. And see you guys again next week on Facebook. Do check me out on YouTube as well. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next time. Take care. God bless. Have a great week.